I'm not sure if uh, Jimmy Kimmel understood what the title of this uh, conversation is. What you talking about, Willis? Bonnie <laughs> yeah. Willis. Uh, did she get back to you today? Yeah, we subpoenaed her. Not yet. Um, I just talked Wait, to her. Wait, is she supposed to get back to you today? Yeah, she's supposed to get documents. Well, to did us. you hear from her boyfriend? We haven't. <laughs> so some. I was talking about this in the office, and I said, I said, Bonnie Wade, and it was like a Freudian slip, you know, like I, I, Bonnie Willis and Nathan Wade. So, uh, uh, no, we haven't heard back from her yet. We'll see what we get from her. But there's a whistleblower in her office who we have talked to, our, the committee staff. Yeah, and she, uh, the whistleblower, uh, I think she's like four foot eleven, but Bonnie Willis had seven police like escort her out when when she fired this lady, because this lady raised the concern that Miss Willis was not spending federal funds and the appropriate, not following the grant, uh, the rules of the grant app and, and, and the grant dollars in the, in the appropriate manner. So uh, she raised this concern and then finally Willis fired her. She's now talking with our office and we'll see where that goes. And that's why we we subpoenaed for records and documents related to this. We'll see what we get. Uh, there's still a few hours left in today. She also was interesting. She, instead of accepting service on the subpoena, she made us send the U.S. Marshals. Even though our office had talked with her office, we've had correspondence back and forth. She made the U.S. Marshals take the subpoena there. So uh, go figure. This is Bonnie Willis, and we all saw her, I think, her attitude on display when she took the, took I the stand it a few was weeks a, ago. I thought it was a skit, but I think it actually was real life. It was real. It well, was you know, real. we said, we sent out a tweet that said we didn't invite Bonnie Willis to CPAC, but there is a Fonny sandwich with a chaser of Grey Goose vodka if you <laughs> have enough cash. Ready cash in your pocket. Yeah, the, the, the comedy routine from Mr. Slap coming out today. That's <laughs> awesome. It's been a long year, Jim. Yeah, well, um, but we appreciate what you do. We appreciate what CPAC has meant for conservative principles for a long, long time. Thank you. It means a lot.